Hey guys, so I'm just going over my uh, handles with the uh, oiled linseed oil. That's that success kit, uh, the wheel hose success kit that you get from Haas. So anyway, got all my handles. I got about five or six coats. I just kept putting it on until it seemed like it wasn't going to soak up anymore. So now I'm just going to let it sit here and kind of dry and then I'll dry it off another time with that rag there. That's my wipe off the excess and that's my apply the oil. Now I went over my handles with uh, 1500 and you probably don't need to do that but um, in shipping this handle here on my hot uh, sickle hoe. Um, it had a couple of little dings up here and so I went ahead and I just oh, there we go sanded it down a little bit just to smooth that out you, you don't want your handles too smooth or else your hands are sliding all over them and then you get blisters but you don't want them too rough where you're you know <laughs> it's like sandpaper and then you're wearing you know your calluses off your hands so you go ahead and set it up the way you like it sand them down the way you like them and then give them a good coat of like oiled linseed oil I think will work really good and maybe coat them again um, you know putting them up for the season and then they should last forever pretty much so I mean that's the problem with these tools is like <laughs> that's why they cost so much you don't buy them every year this is a tool you buy and it'll probably last generations anyway so I'm getting ready to go ahead and assemble this is the high arch wheel hoe that's part of it I'm getting ready to assemble it I got the rest of the pieces sitting over here the sweeps and the plows and the cultivator teeth and down here I got the disc set for it so I might go ahead and just toss the discs on it just for right now but here's the rest of the wheel hoe I'm gonna go ahead and maybe put that together down here by my one of my speaker systems I got my tires down here these are really nice you guys so <clears throat> I'll probably shoot another video when I get this the rest of the way together. Like I showed you the other night, this is the uh, drip irrigation systems I ordered. And then there's the fertilizer injector. So I got three uh, drip irrigation kits that are for, um, they say raised bed, but I, uh, I'm i going to use them for 30 by 35 foot um, uh regular beds you know in the garden so they were a little cheaper so we'll see how that works all right anyway i'm gonna go ahead and toss this together but yeah real simple just sand them up the way you like them how you like it and then go ahead and oil it up with that and i just used one rag for adding the oil one rag for wiping off the excess and then just did coat after coat on um, my sickle hoe I think it came with something already coating it but I went ahead and I pulled the little sticker off and I stuck it on that plastic bag back there and then I took it off of here and I sanded it down and coated it with some of the same stuff you know that boiled linseed oil and I did probably four coats on that and then I went ahead and put the sticker back together and assembled it. And we'll see if the sticker stays on or not. Alright. Talk to you later. Bye.